from a uh, rainy Northeast Florida. Um, Allison hails to you from a rainy uh, southwestern province. <laughs> <laughs> Chris hails from somewhere out left. <laughs> That's it, here we are. It's about things, stuff. Not, not really left. You're pretty Depends on which way you're facing. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, it's it's left on the map. It's not left in uh, uh, philosophy. Um, m- much of the map is left of me. My most, I, would, I would venture to say most of the map is left of you. So it's interesting. Um, you know, if you look at it, like it dips in and then out, right? So one of the cool things about where I am is theoretically anyway, hurricanes get pushed north into like Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. Well, not cool for those people, but cool for me, theoretically, <laughs> uh, that we don't get hammered directly because of how we dip in and the Gulf Stream helps push that stuff north. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's hurricane season. So happy hurricane season, y'all. <laughs> Yay. Happy hurricane, hurricane season. Uh, I was going to say happy pride, but <laughs> hurricane season <laughs> That's better. Yesterday, yesterday was Juneteenth. It was. Which is a holiday I didn't know before last week. That's interesting. So I kind of bumped into it last year and it's like, oh, that's, that's neat. I need to remember it for next year. Um, and didn't really, sadly. But it popped up and I'm like, damn, I need to put that on my phone. So it's, it's actually, a reminder of my phone. So the, the name Juneteenth comes from, a, it's a combination of June and 19th. So as far as holiday go, names go, the, it's second only to 4th of July, in my opinion. <laughs> but it's a little deceptive because, like, could that also be the 13th or the 18th or the 17th? They're all teenths. Yes, but, it's not, but not everything is nteenth. Juneteenth. <laughs> <laughs> Thirteenth. <laughs> just, just, I'm just saying, it like, it gives me a, it gives me too large of a range. Like, I know it's the middle of June. That's all. It's the one closest to the solstice. The yeah, Gary's, Gary's gonna <laughs> I Gary is going to remember that. Actually, will I, I, I remember the solstice for the, the, uh, the astrological event that it is, and so longest day of the year, My which means here, like, it's. Then. You said left. Was that if you were? Oh, but if you were at the core of the Earth, which way is left? I went real like. Ooh. I, don't know. I mean, which way are you facing? <laughs> I, yeah, and why are you in the core of the Earth? There, there's so many follow-up questions to my scenario. <laughs> yeah, it's and, hollow anyway. And and how long are you planning on staying in the core of the Earth? Because <laughs> short as possible. <laughs> I was going to say something about how like problem there summer solstice like i can sit here and watch my lawn burst into flames but that's nothing compared to the core of the earth yeah it's like Real jules you know? scenario. <laughs> yeah it's really probably it's probably not very humid in the core of the earth either i wouldn't expect no it's, it's a probably dry much heat. more yeah probably much more like utah <laughs> yeah yeah um how we we've only uh not us but humanity has only drilled not very far, right? Like we've got, we we not penetrated the crust. Do we know anybody here? Big into yes, you are correct. Thank you. I have That's no idea. Sure how works. Yeah. <laughs> Make stuff exactly. up. Someone agrees. <laughs> that sounds right. Um, you may notice some... uh, of binary jazz can always tweet us or comment when we are wrong. So we should do so on Twitter. You can do so on Twitter, but apparently we're all blocking Twitter for the month. Uh, (laughs) I got tired of being told I was wrong, so I stopped using it. (laughs) Uh, But you can use our contact form on the website. 
which is on the internet. Yeah, it was on the internet. Yeah. On the internet. You're going to need an internet connection to do that. We can't provide that for you. (laughs) Dial up or, uh, uh, um, what was the other one? Uh, what's what's the other one? ISDN, mm. dial up or ISDN will will function perfectly fine to reach our website. I mean, but probably not. We have done no optimization to our site. What's the load? Like, what's the? How many kilobytes is it? Uh, you want me We to certainly didn't take into account slow connections, did we? Not really. I mean, take I don't. Know. But also. <laughs> okay. Do you remember like the olden days of the internet when? Like the first site I built fit on a 1.4 meg floppy. Is that right? 1.4 megabytes? Probably. Dang. And like you didn't create anything bigger than bigger than a viewport of like, you assume people were using 640 by 480 still. And you were developing on a 1024 by 768. I mean, you... oh. <sighs> are you on dial-up, Chris? I'm a little confused as to what's happening here. Uh, yes, I'm on dial-up. No, I'm not on dial-up. <laughs> um, I'll use dial-up for BitTorrent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. Um, I don't know. It doesn't seem that bad. I think the hardest, the heaviest thing is the, the video that plays. Yeah, so what's the number? I need to hit the forward side. button when I when I profile. All right, here we go. Do do do. There's the load. There's loading the thing. All right, there it goes. Stop. Stop. <laughs> You're supposed to come up with like interesting conversation while I'm like Uh-oh. figuring out. We we already did that the first time you profiled. Okay. <laughs> We're out now. <laughs> um. Okay. I, the reason I asked is I'm super curious. There was a talk I went to a couple of years back on, and someone was talking about, you know, we developed these days to the assumption that everybody's on broadband, but, um, you know, I mean, you've, you've seen the numbers, obviously, like the cost of um, mobile internet in some countries is, is just, I mean, unaffordable, you know, I mean, it's it, a megabyte costs, you know, an I'm hour trying, of I'm labor. trying to find in, in Chrome uh, the sort of waterfall thing and I'm not finding it. So uh, I'm going to Google. How large is my website? <laughs> website page size checker. Okay. Oh, their certificate expired. I don't really care. Error establishing database connection. Maybe I won't use that site. Uh, the Chris notes first by English per. Um, okay. No, I appreciate when web accessibility, like when that umbrella also includes internet speed and I mean, it's not relevant to everybody as far as like, if you're a small business and small town, whatever, you're probably not expecting lots of traffic from other places with slower speeds, but it's good when people take it into account. It totally is. Um, I, I, I mean, I probably doesn't apply to us as much. I can't imagine that our international audience is uh, I don't know. You don't, I mean, you don't think there's people in, in, in like South Sudan that are uh, listening to the podcast? It could happen. <laughs> do, you, do you think we would be relatable? Probably not, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm very relatable. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, in either way, other than I think that our challenges are. Uh, first view, 4.310 seconds. Hmm. So, um, we we actually get, we actually get pretty good, um, uh, grades on everything except caching. Uh, Maybe I should turn on caching. And also, uh, most of the things that take long are the YouTube thing, so. Yeah, yeah, go for the, the Google. So how Uh, about that Google Calendar outage? Did you run into that? Yes. I mean, mean, it seemed to to affect a lot more uh, people more than me. Um, My day went on as scheduled. (laughs) Like I had like the locally cached copy of it and everything, right? Um, Of my calendar. But even still, it it was pretty jarring to load up calendar.google.com and have nothing but a 404. 
I should like wiggle that internet cable or something and see. I'm lucky in that I don't rely on it for like, I don't have tons of meetings and stuff that I rely on all those. So I'm just, I was like a hermit over in my thing, kind of watching my Twitter feed and people being like, I guess there's no work today. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> um, I, uh, I think Hangouts was also down, but I, that didn't. I was having weird, in fact, I've still been having lingering weird issues because I use friends um, uh, for everything that friends, yeah. uh, which includes I, calendar and includes uh, Gmail and includes Slack and all this stuff. So what is friends? It's, a, it's one of those all-in-one app things. Like an operating system? <laughs> all-in-one app? Yes. <laughs> I don't, I, I'll, I'll Google it. I'll phrase it later. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a, yeah, it's, you know, back in the days when you could have these like Uber messengers that like combined all the messenger services like Trillion and like Pigeon. Um, yeah, yeah. Pigeon. Yeah. So friends okay. is kind of like that. Cause you can combine all the various, um, all the various chat services, but because everything is web-based now, it just like just a, anything a that is web-based, anything that is web-based, you can web -based, stick it to friends and give it a tab. That was Max awesome. Headroom, join the chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, ooh. I think I'm talking too loud. Uh, anyway, too loud. Uh, uh, how is this happening? Yeah, it's uh, just you. <laughs> it must be you because it doesn't happen when you do it. Now it's gone. Okay, good. Uh, great. Uh, so friends lets you put a bunch of uh, things. So it also does Gmail and, and calendar and, and that was what I was saying earlier. Uh, that's what friends is. Anyway, uh, I've been having lingering friends. So the day that it went down, I couldn't get into my work email or my calendar. Yeah. Um, so I had it's to open, I had to, yeah, I had to open, G I could open Gmail in, in Chrome weirdly. Um, and then following like yesterday. That sounds like a DNS cache issue, doesn't it? Yesterday, uh, after, well, after the outage, I got my calendar back, and then later in the day, I got my email back. And then yesterday, I lost my personal Gmail, and that wasn't loading. Um, so I don't know what's going on, um, but Google done fucked up. I, uh, that same day, I, I've been using Amazon Music because it's part of my Prime, and I'm being cheap, and I'm not really happy with it. It sort of sucks. It more than sort of sucks. It just sucks. Amazon for listening, <laughs> make it not sucky. Um, and I know they're listening because I was using it in my browser and I have like all my, like don't spy on me plugins in my browser. And I went to eat lunch and I came back and it was like, oh, um, the new version of Amazon Music doesn't work in this browser anymore. But so I had to download an app and I have a program that lets me know whenever my applications make external connections. Hmm. Um, and it is forever like, calling back to Amazon stuff. So is that little snitch? Yeah. Big fan of that. Big fan of it. I mean, like even on this, like it'll pop up and say, Oh, incoming connection from zoom. I've whitelisted zoom, but I still like to know that I'm in zoom that the video I'm, I don't know. I, <laughs> you like to know I, things. <laughs> I, so really it all comes back to battery. Like I, I've tried to limit a lot stuff my computer does to increase the battery life. And then I, now that I've moved inside, at least for a while, until the grass extinguishes or whatever, um, I, uh, I don't care as much about battery. Now I care more about like, am I gonna ruin my battery leaving it plugged in all the time? <sighs> You're not. This battery is kind of, I mean, it's, it's like right on that border where I need to think about replacing it. So. Or you could just get a new computer. But there's nothing functionally wrong with this one except for the battery and the occasional kernel panic. Those are two <laughs> things. Right? I think I need a Seems I like think big I, deals. I think I need a third thing. <laughs> so the third thing I'll, I'll, give, awesome I'll give you a third thing. On my computer. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I kind of like it. I wish I could show you the stickers on it. <laughs> you, can, you can reuse at least some of the stickers. I have a bad um, habit of layering them. I layer them too. I, I still, I still have uh, a 
a second generation digital Kevin sticker. Uh, well, first generation, but second comp laptop generation. <laughs> know, it like... came off of it came off of the first laptop and it went onto the second laptop. And it has a little crease where it was on top of another thing. <laughs> There's a yeah, line like, going through it. Layer them off. Yeah. It, um, I was going to ask you something about moving stickers. Do it very carefully. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't work with everything. Some stickers have, like, the stickiness on some things is, is not. Yeah. Conducive. Maybe I'll just go to one of those sticker places online and replace the ones that I really want. I mean, yeah. they're all, like, SpaceX and NASA stickers. Um, I got a new sticker uh, from yeah. Salt Lake Tribune. Hey. Nice. This was, cool. uh, yeah, I was for filling out a, a survey uh, about what I thought about them potentially going nonprofit. Uh, if I thought it was oh, wow. Good. Yeah. Wow, that's a big decision. Yeah, Hold they're on. they're filing they're filing to be a nonprofit and then in the meantime while that's going through in the IRS they've created a nonprofit organization to f to fund the newspaper. Um they've been losing money for years. Um and they just laid off like I don't know a third of their staff last year which is after huge layoffs uh, a couple of years ago. So so them being a nonprofit would i mean in my opinion if it pays their writers then that's a good thing and that's all i care about like you keep publishing and keep paying your people um so yeah i got a i got a cool sticker i haven't decided where to put it yet i feel like we've covered my um on your answer though like if you answer favorably you get the sticker <laughs> no, it otherwise i sent you like rotting produce <laughs> here's a half a head, head of cabbage that's past its prime um I think we've covered extensively my frustration with local uh, print media in Jacksonville. Um, unfortunately, in that case, like it was bought by a larger corporation and slowly everything was outsourced, outsourced, outsourced. And mm -hmm. now it's just like a shell of what it once was. I was not too long. I was with the kids. We were out for a, a walk downtown. Um, I guess technically a hike. I don't know where the line is between walk and hike. Should be a good topic one day. Uh, um, Hill? Well, I went up a like yeah, we went up a bridge, so it was a hike. That's a um, hike. And it was, and it was um, they were they were pulling the uh, the old presses out of the building right on the river, where they had printed the newspaper for years. They were dismantling them in the parking lot behind it, and it was like, that's kind of an intense visual. I mean, you just I mean, they I don't know how the paper's been there, but uh, Jacksonville has quite a bit of history, and paper's been there for a lot of years. Wow, it is really raining now, like sideways. It was sunny when we like like five minutes ago. More than five minutes. Hey, when you were when you were getting ready to uh, um, figure out how much uh, or how large our uh, our homepage is. Oh, okay. Then then still probably five minutes. Seven and a half. Do we have a topic? <laughs> Do we cover the topic yet? Listeners of Binary Jazz can tell us what the uh, timestamp. <laughs> Was <laughs> did that just mysteriously open, Gary? No, my son brought some laundry in and didn't close it behind him. Ah, okay. Would that be cool though if it did open on its own? Like, oh, I have to close that thing all day. It just keeps opening. <laughs> just ghosts. Forget I said that. The answer is yes, it did. It just does that sometimes. <laughs> I mean, that's what I was. That's what I was expecting. Yeah. It's like I know I saw you close it once. I when we started, yeah. I have this bad habit now of like pacing around this room. The problem is you can't see me on camera, so I'll walk away like this. And then people that I work with don't think I'm, I mean, I'll keep going, but keep people that I work with don't think I'm listening anymore. And I'm, <laughs> I am, I'm just not, can't stand still. So we had this like developers call yesterday and uh, like right when it was my turn to talk, like they called on me and I, I had unmuted and I walked away and they were like, oh, well, I guess Gary's not here. I'm like, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> but cause I wasn't in camera. Don't I mean, it was like- see the rest of the room? <laughs> I mean, it was, like, it was like working with dinosaurs. Like I, I stepped out of the frame, and they were like, "Oh, I wonder if he's going to make it to the call today." I, <laughs> I thought Gary was on the call, but I guess not. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to mention that in case somebody listens to this episode. One of uh, I love my colleagues. I don't think they're really dinosaurs. One I think is actually a dinosaur, but the rest I don't think are dinosaurs. One of our developers changed his Zoom pick to. I mean, that's an ageism thing, either. I just mean like. He might really be a dinosaur. He's short arms. Sorry, Zoom pick too. Uh, yeah, one of our developers uh, changed his Zoom pick uh, to like a selfie he took on his phone, so it looks like 
it's cropped like I mean, it looks like he's calling in from his phone. So and it, it's totally like like a like a resting face. It's not like he's smiling. He's not like he's posing. It's just like a normal like staring dead on the camera, and like it freaks everyone out because he'll start talking and the picture comes up and then like but his lips aren't moving <laughs> like wait what the hell is going on that's a good video conference strategy <laughs> people aren't even paying attention to what you're saying because they're so freaked out <laughs> <laughs> like tapping on the they're like i don't i just don't Adam seems to be frozen um yeah i guess we can get to the topic i we don't, i mean whatever i also have a quiz this I week could, i could bring you a topic i have something on my browser right here that i could bring you all right you two could debate it oh no <laughs> <laughs> let's do it okay okay all right. the topic today is huli jing huli jing oh, is this how it feels it feels bad <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's not great is it? It's not ideal. Like two like words. Ideal. Two yeah. words. Huli. Yeah. Yeah. H-U-L-I. Yeah. Jing. J-I-N-G. So Huli Jing um, is a startup in Silicon Valley. <laughs> You're just saying that because of... Uh, <laughs> Huli. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 100%. To be fair, that's what I thought when I first saw when I first came across this. I'm gonna go with professional figure figure skater. Professional figure skater. Oh, it could be a person. I didn't even consider that. Oh, that was my first. I was thinking <laughs> first thought. I thought it was a holiday of some sort. <laughs> Celebrating professional figure skater. Figure skating. Well, Chris, that was easy. Softball, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just... <laughs> No. But not a gold, not not a gold medal winner, like a maybe silver or bronze. I can't really remember which. And it was when figure skating was part of the Summer Olympics. <laughs> wasn't, that, wasn't that in the seventies before they made that switch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they just did it on roller skates. That sort of made it the Summer Olympics. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was disco vibes. Oh that man, sort of I was thinking the same thing. Like, yes. High knee socks. <laughs> yes. And then they realized there was more of an audience for it in the winter. <laughs> and the Swedish, obviously the Swedish skater would be the dancing queen. Yeah. <laughs> the one requirement, it was just all ABBA. <laughs> this is all what the they time. call the winners of the summer uh, Olympic figure skating competition. <laughs> dancing kings and queens. Yeah. I think they're all just dancing queens. That's the way it went back in the 70s that's how we rolled in the 70s obviously that's how we rolled oh, we, oh, we roll. <laughs> so good so good <laughs> Huli jing man god bless them <laughs> <laughs> it, it so i think based on chris's reactions we can safely eliminate a person and holiday <laughs> um I, i'm if it's not a figure skater, I don't really know. <laughs> I think it's an airport in India. Airport. Huli Jing International. <laughs> the airport in um, uh, Georgetown, Guyana is Chetty Jagan, which I, I love that. Chetty Jagan International. Chetty Jagan? And Chetty Jagan. And um, they have to clear, I don't know if they still do, but when I went there in high school, they had to clear cattle off the runway to land the airplanes. Amazing. It was. It was so good. Not for the so cattle. Awesome. But <laughs> well, um, and um, largely Hindu, 40%. Um, so, I mean, it, like, you had to hire the right person. Because <laughs> otherwise the planes were landing. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, old time. It was like, yeah, traveling in time, you know? Here's the rolling stairs you walk down and mm -hmm. into this shed. And hmm. like the next door, there's a guy like taking baggage off and throwing it through the hole in the wall. And that's baggage claim. <laughs> I guess like his job is probably to say like many bags look alike, but I don't know. He didn't. <laughs> it would, probably, would have been with like a Jamaican accent. Many bags look alike, Mon. Uh, so, are, we bringing up, are we bringing up the various accents? <laughs> no, that's, I don't know. Nope. 
we are not doing that. <laughs> I, I've been, um, I, I try to do an accent of some character uh, in the D&D game on Monday, and it started out, uh, I don't know what it started out with, but it ended up Scottish. Um, <laughs> and like, I don't do a good Scottish accent unless I'm really drunk and around Scottish people. So, um, and then you just I, think you do because you're really. And then I just think you do because I'm drunk. Yeah. Um, no, I found that I being that drunk, I, I found that being drunk was a prerequisite for doing a Scottish accent. So I just assume that even if you're Scottish, actually. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Weird, right. Yeah, right. Oh man. <laughs> Sorry for like hitting like all the stereotypes today. I feel like a dick. Huli <laughs> <sighs> Jing. Huli Jing. It may be a song though, Who? like a holy jingle. A holy jingle. <laughs> it's what? Yes, yeah, it's, it's the technical name for like the chorus and the jingle, the part that gets stuck in your head. The holy jingle. Yeah. <laughs> the holy part of the jingle. <laughs> Back to the holy. Huli <laughs> Jing. DS, DSL Huli. We'll, we'll start again, but back at the Huli. <laughs> yeah. And a one. I really, and I really need you to give me your best, the Huli. <laughs> Is that before or after the chorus? Um, it's, it's like between pre chorus and bridge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Is it a food? It's a food. It's a food. <laughs> it's a sauce. It's a kind of sauce that you put on firmer tofus. Firmer tofus. <laughs> Those the tofus that fall in the firm family. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not going to work on a thinner tofu. You just get like a. It absorbs too much. You need a firmer tofu to. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> You're really giving away that you know nothing about tofu. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like eating tofu, but I've done no preparation on tofu. <laughs> Company I used to work at, though, now has a, a tofu press for sale. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know what they... I feel like you don't need something tofu specific for that. We have a tofu press. Really? Does it work? Yeah. I don't, I don't use it all the time though because half the time it's like Mike I can just cut the tofu and put it on the on the frying pan. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean then it like the, the the difference is that I mean it does press out the the liquid and then it makes it a little bit easier to fry or a little bit drier. Like so I mean the last time I used the tofu press was when we were making spring rolls and we were just using raw tofu anyway. Oh, uh, okay. Because then it makes sense as spring roll because you don't want to introduce a bunch more like liquid inside. Right. Yeah. And then and then like and the way we we prepare it is we just we just get the cutting board. We cut all the stuff and then we get the cutting board and put all the stuff on the cutting board. Um, so like you can make your own spring rolls and um and yeah, when you have uh a wet block of tofu and you cut it into little pieces, it's still a big puddle on this on the cutting board and saves. Oh them. man. You said spring rolls, and I was thinking the last time I had spring rolls, really good ones. It was in Tampa friend of mine made them and they were hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that for a little while now. I'll think about that while you tell us what Hooli Jing is. All roads lead to us dreaming of food that we had. Okay, so Huli Jing, Huli Jing uh is Chinese. You didn't even get you didn't even guess where it came from. No. It's Chinese. It literally translates to fox spirit. And Huli Jing are uh are Chinese mythological nine-tailed or, or up to nine-tailed foxes uh, that have magical abilities. Uh, they, they live for over a thousand years uh, and as they, as they age, they get more tails, usually in like odd numbers. They start out with one tail and, and then they have three tails and then five tails and seven tails and then nine tails. And when they're a nine-tailed Huli Jing, then they're like, you know, elderly master wizard sure why were you searching this okay i mean i'm curious like how you how you came across i feel like i've seen illustrations like... of this though yes, yes. Yeah. and there, there's i mean there's things based on it um there's nine-tailed foxes in like some of those the games the kids play um i've seen nine-tailed foxes in like pokemon and stuff um yeah. 
So uh, the it, reason huh? why I was searching for this or the reason why I came across this was because uh, one of my players said, hey, I've got a character I'd like to bring into this game. And it was a it was a red fox. And I'm like, what the hell am I going to do with this? So then I started looking into like homebrew rules and like race creation and stuff. And then I was looking at well, what can I do with a fox? So I started looking into like mythologies of foxes. And so there's a really interesting like uh, Asian uh, traditions of, of like nine tailed foxes or fox spirits. Um, that I thought I could bring into the game that would be really interesting to play and also um, uh, also like give them some special abilities and whatever. Um, Huli Jing also can, uh, can uh, turn into humans. They can, trans they can shapeshift into humans. Uh, usually um, beautiful women, uh, elderly men, and occasionally young boys. Um, but you have, to, you have to be, Who among us? you have to check, uh, you have to check for their tail that's how you can tell if it's really jink is sometimes, especially when they're drunk, uh, they forget to hide their tail or they're unable to hide their tail. And that's how you can they tell. Also, interestingly enough, they also talk in a Scottish accent. So <laughs> no. <there's... laughs> they do not. A Scottish fox. Yeah. That was interesting. Amazing. <laughs> See, I could bring it too. <laughs> that's a weird feeling. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> <laughs> you get used to it. I mean, you kind of go through life that way, and it's just, <laughs> it's just a state of being. You go through the stages of grief of like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every meeting I have at work, like, I feel like this just become another meeting. Like, what do you know about? <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. Uh, questions. Oh, you said you had a quiz. Let's do the quiz. Oh, I do have a quiz. Or we can do questions and I can Let's save my quiz. quiz. Let's do the quiz. Yeah. Okay, so my quiz this week is drag queen name or my little pony. Okay. Yep. Mm. Uh hang on, let me get the score sheet. Yep. It's a good idea. I uh <laughs> because scores matter. Yeah, they do. Winning yeah. matter. <laughs> winning, hell yes, winning matters. Okay. Uh <laughs> Gary and Chris. All right, there we go. Okay, so <laughs> Rainbow Dash. Uh, that's definitely pony. a pony. Yeah. Pony, correct. Yep. Starting you, starting you off easy. Okay. Yeah, I mean that Maybe. was that was yeah. lightweight. How? What do you think we are? <laughs> <laughs> you think we don't worry about this? That was feeling much better. Like, come on. Blair Saint Clair. Uh, that would be a drag queen. Correct, drag queen. Some of these I was like, you're gonna get for sure, but gotta have some points. Uh, rarity. Rarity? Rarity. Uh, queen. No. Pony. Pony. Damn it. <laughs> uh, Cheyenne Pepper. Queen. Yeah, I'm gonna go with queen. Queen, correct. It's a little too like out there to be a pony. <laughs> you say that now, but wait until we yeah, get it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Pinkie Pie. Uh, that's a pony. Pony. Pony, correct. Yeah, I agree. Ivy Winters. Ooh, queen. Yeah, that's got to be a queen. Queen, correct. Silky Nutmeg Ganache. <laughs> <laughs> Pony. Queen. <laughs> it's a queen. Damn it. <laughs> Squeaky Bell. Squeaky Bell. Sweetie. Sweetie Bell. Oh, Pony. Pony. I like that the difference made it mo that much more <laughs> secure. Like, oh, well, that. <laughs> uh, what did I see about? Pony. Uh, Daring Do. Queen. Pony. Think. Pony. Do you want to stick with your answer? I'm, I'm gonna. I, uh, soft yes. <laughs> <laughs> Daring do is the pony. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Bianca, <laughs> Bianca Del Rio. Uh, queen. 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 Correct. Uh, Cat Sass. Queen. Cat sass? Mm-hmm. Queen. 
spelled with a K, if that, if that matters. Yeah. <laughs> Queen, correct. There are no uh, pound there. cake. Uh, pony. Um, Queen, just because I hope so. <laughs> My Little Pony. Yay. Is that the first one I missed? That's the first one I missed. That's the first one you've missed. <laughs> I am... I, I had to, I just had to go that way on that one. I <sighs> yeah, that one, that one would have to be like a, an overweight queen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could visualize. Yeah. I can. I can too. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous. Uh, Spitfire. Spitfire. Pony. Pony. Correct. Pony. Miss Coco Peru. Queen. Queen. Correct. Stormy Flare. Mm. Pony. 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 Uh, Wizard. <laughs> queen. Pony. It's probably a pony, but queen. <laughs> pony. Yay. Uh, flimskin. Flim. What is it? Flimskin. Flimskin. Queen. Pony. <laughs> Pony. Yay. Tied up. Apparently there's Flim and Flam. They're, there's two of there's They're brothers, if anyone was curious. Is, is, is it Flam Scam then and Flim Skin? Huh. Okay. <laughs> uh, party favor. Queen. Yeah. Queen. My Little Pony. Damn it. <laughs> Jujubee. Pony. Queen. Queen. Damn it. <laughs> Neon lights. Queen. Pony. Pony. <laughs> Lady bunny. Queen. 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 Uh, cinnamon chai. Uh, pony. Queen. Pony. Oh, great. <laughs> Uh, baby Glory. What is it? Baby Glory. Queen. Pony. Pony. Damn it. And the last one is Nina Flowers. Pony. Queen. Queen. That was fun. Uh, Gary, you beat <laughs> me. I was hoping, I was hoping to get, to, to hold my, like, tie. Into, tie, yeah. Into the end of the, and then, yeah. It's like, cut off now. <laughs> <laughs> and there are so many more. I felt like I had to cut down the list because I was like, we could do this. We could do multiple this episodes. Long. Yeah. Also, because I don't know, so many drag queens, so little time. <laughs> it's it's surprising how how the overlap it works with ponies and queens. <clears throat> there were several where kind of a shot in the dark. Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes or Google Play. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at at binaryjazz. Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the forum on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz.